the heart and the mind. Sometimes they met in love, and sometimes they don't. That's why love has many definitions. The distance between love and reason is similar to that between poetry and the other pure sciences. In love, we try to find a balance between feeling and reason, which is sometimes a difficult task, because love by its nature resists reason and sometimes overcomes it. There are those who divide love into two parts. The love of conscience, of reason, of social and daily life, and mad, irrational love. The one that pushes us to do anything and everything. What Wisdom says, that we love with our mind and not with our heart. Because the sage, the wise, is by his mind and not with his heart. The sign written on the Abu Sa'id Mosque always stops me. It says that the remains of the famous patriotic comic author rests here. The word satirist accompanied him all his life to his grave. This young man who always liked to joke and create anecdotal situations. This giant of the satirical press died in the noblest and most tragic way to prove that love could cost dearly, perhaps life without asking for compensation. The owner of the satirical newspaper Habs Booth fell in love with a woman with tuberculosis and despite all of the warnings that the infection would reach him, he strode confidently towards death. He asked for her hand and buried her. After a short time, he contracted tuberculosis and died. The result was that the marriage didn't last long because the wife, who was already dying, died after a short period of almost two months so that he continued to live on her memories. This young man paid his life to spend a beautiful honeymoon with his beautiful dying wife. Still, it was short. After that, he had a long journey of sickness and torment. In a television series, we saw the poet Rasafi sitting on the other side of the closed door of the house, talking with his cheerful friend. Rasafi was sitting in the street while Nuri was sitting in the house near his wife behind the closed door so that the infection is not transmitted. Rasafi was laughing and joking with his friend through the closed door as his tears were flowing for his friend. He left us, leaving all his professional sexes to live this wedding of mourning as if he wanted to say that love is giving and not selfishness. It's a sacrifice and not possession. It's giving without expecting anything in return. I don't know if his wedding night was a celebration or a mourning, beginning or end. We don't know if Getz wore black or white or both. He married in this strange and sad way to become a candle lighting up the darkness of his beloved. During this marriage, the government fired him from his job because he was hated due to his harsh language and mocking criticism. It took advantage of his situation and his isolation to put an end to his career as a journalist. Nuri Thabit considered the founder of the school of satirical journalism and the school of satirical caricature, opened the weekly Habes booth in 1931. He gave his newspaper funny pseudonyms, Habes booth, ignorant, your well-known server, among others. People were following his political satire every week 
so his newspaper was sometimes sold on the black market and the number of his circulations reached between four and ten thousand copies which was the highest sales figure for the newspaper at that time Nuri Thabit with his sarcastic and laughing style was on the throne of the critical and humorous press and wrote in a beautiful Baghdadi style and dialect so that a large audience quickly gathered around him him and his newspaper Habsburg. He was a brave man with a military profile as his father was a high-ranking military officer. Nuri is also an officer who graduated from a Rajdiya school and then from the military secondary school. He fought several wars before changing jobs and working as a teacher and opened his newspaper Habsburg. He had difficulty writing because of a bullet that remained in his hand. He was always sarcastic and strongly criticized authority, whether with his pen or with his satirical plays, written or performed by himself. He even confronted with the humor and sarcasm in assassination attempt of which he was the victim. While he was sitting in hotel Mashallah, in the locality of Haider Khan, he was attacked by a man carrying a pistol and he shot him. But Nuri, with his skill, was able to escape him. And the man continued to pursue him through the streets of Haider Khan and shooting him. And this, he accidentally killed a man who happened to be standing in front of a barber shop. Nuri Habesbus on the last page of the newspaper published a cartoon entitled Habez Booz's a new car and his strong pen where he appears riding the Abu Khazama cannon known for its power to inspire courage love is a beautiful thing but when we choose a life partner reason should prevail over emotion not the other way around emotion is not the criterion but the reason, with our reason, we control our feelings and bring them to the right decision. As for the heart, its decisions are often not based on solid foundations. It is reason that creates a man. It is the one which makes success, not feeling. There are even those who believe that reason is the source of good, while love is the source of evil. Some love without knowing the reasons that led to this feeling and rejoice in it without realizing the limits of emotion which can only be stopped and limited by reason as if reason were the one that drew the limits of emotion. We say goodbye to Nuri who summarized joy and sadness for us and opened his little dictionary with words such as sacrifice, love, and abnegation. The story of his short-term love, which once started, ended, leaves us with an unfinished work. His relationship, one of the lost battles, where there is no victory. The place where he lived reminds me of his joyful in tears. This comedian swallowed up by tragedy. The poet gave us a beautiful example of love and sacrifice. But society lost the most important writer and critic. So that after his death, the most important platform for satirical and constructive criticism has disappeared. The reason is that one that makes the decision of love, not the heart. Love is a desire and reason is the control of that desire. Thanks.